Hello Piano Cats, my name is Denis Zhdanov and today's video is super important because I will give you three tips how to get rid of tension in your piano playing and how to significantly raise the speed in passages. So tip number one, one of the most common issues is tensed elbows when people hold their elbows too close to the body. And the direct consequence of this is lifting up your shoulders. Obviously this way of playing doesn't allow you to reach the best quality. Here is a very simple exercise which I recommend to my students if they are tensed at the piano. So place your elbows close to your body and hold your hands parallel to each other. Then push your shoulders all the way up to your ears. Yeah, that looks funny, but you really have to do this. Then from this overstressed position, start to release the tension slowly, moving your hands in different directions. So I release my shoulders and I move my elbows, my hands, in different directions. Do that a couple of times and you will immediately feel a comfortable position of your shoulders and elbows. No, elbows and shoulders. Yeah. Now, tip number two, and for some of you, it might be even life-changing. Because this idea is so simple, I would say even primitive, that many people might have never thought about it. So the point is that many people work twice playing a note on piano. We obviously use a muscle effort to hit the key, to move it. And it seems reasonable to use another counter movement to pull the finger away. Thus you might observe that kind of playing. The problem is that if you play in that way, you seriously limit yourself if you try to play faster and make much more effort than necessary. It would make sense if the keys would stuck in the keyboard, if we would need that kind of movement to lift them up. But, uh, but the piano action is actually really smart. So the key, surprise, it goes up on its own. And now a million dollar question, how we can use that actually? In fact, in order to stop the sound, we may relax the finger completely and swiftly instead of pulling it away. I just need a very good synchronization between fingers. I relax my finger immediately when I hit the next key. Of course, it may take some time to get used to this way of playing, but believe me, if you master this technique, you may play significantly faster with much less effort. So to sum up, you need only to relax your fingers, your muscles swiftly when they are done, and the key will push itself up. And the tip number three, finally, which is actually connected to the previous one. Always relax fingers which don't work at the moment. For example, a crouched pinky is a very common issue, even if you look at some concert pianists. But nevertheless, every bit of tension in your hand slows you down and causes an overuse effect. So you get tired much faster. I have noticed as well that it doesn't really matter how much I practice some spot. If I have any kind of tension in my hand, I would feel myself less confident. This happens because we naturally associate tension with, uh, with danger. Danger of failure or mistake in this case. So in order to master this technique, start playing really slowly. In that tempo, when you can really literally control each finger. Make sure all your fingers lay lazily on the keyboard. Being lazy when you don't have to work is your key to success here, really. When you feel that you can do that really well in this grandma tempo, 
raise tempo really gradually so you can always control whether you're relaxed or not. This is actually another very common issue about practicing fast and slow because most of people when they practice slowly they are perfectly relaxed but then they suddenly start to play in tempo and activate just other sets of muscles So some musicians even state that practicing slow doesn't really help because you are basically doing two very different things. I do believe it helps, but only if you use your slow tempo to calculate the best and most comfortable way of playing and then raise your tempo really gradually, saving those comfortable feelings. So at the end you reach a real tempo, but will feel yourself much more confident. When I have got serious hand problems a few years ago and couldn't perform for nearly a year, I had no choice but to rebuild my technique nearly from scratch. While doing that, while making more and more adjustments in my body and how I feel myself at the piano, I felt that this influences also the way I think and feel myself mentally as well. And that was a true discovery for me. Once I've seen a video on Facebook of Marta Argrish playing a Chopin Polonaise and one musician commented what a careless technique, why she doesn't control her fingers and so on. Yes, it happens sometimes that even established musicians have no clue about the physiology of the piano performance. Because I believe that the quality, precision and artistic value of this performance is still great. But what does actually happen here is that Marta finds an opportunity to relax, to release her hands whenever she can. Let's watch this passage, for example. She releases her hands swiftly after the last note of the passage. While she approaches each chord, her hands are completely relaxed and she focuses them in the very last moment before she touches the keys. Some music teachers even think that it's normal for children to be tense, that it eventually gets better with the age when they uh, get stronger practicing a lot. Partly that's true, but most probably they will carry a burden of some bad habits which will limit them. To illustrate what I mean, I've got one old recording of my wife when she was eight. What allows her to play with such an impressive speed being such a young kid? Please mention a tension-free body and elbows, rapid finger attack with an immediate release. And the fingers, which are not in use at the moment, are completely relaxed. This became possible not just because she was born smart and talented, although she was, but, but that's not the point. The point is that she had got a teacher who found a fun and effective way to explain those principles. So thanks for watching this video. If you found something useful for yourself, please don't forget to like it. Write in comments what do you think. And the exclusive offer of the day is subscribe to this channel right now and get plus five points to the speed of your passages for free. So have fun playing piano and hopefully to see you next time.